My name is Lee and um, yeah, this is my very first vlog. So please show me grace because I don't know what I'm doing. This is the first vlog. I don't know if it's gonna just be like a one day vlog or if I'm gonna do this for like um, a couple of days or if it's gonna be a week. I really don't know. I don't even know if this is even gonna make it into the, um, to the atmosphere. I really don't know. So anyway, today is my anniversary. Um, just excuse uh, her back there. She, she models for me. Um, but yeah, so today is my anniversary. It's my two year anniversary. And um, I have a couple errands that I need to run. And um, we have reservations tonight. I can't remember if it's seven or eight o'clock at the firehouse. Um, it's in downtown Sacramento. I live, I live in Elk Grove, but it's Sacramento County um, here in California. And so I'm really excited about Okay, so I don't know if, uh, I'm sorry the light back there. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see, uh, my dress is a little wrinkled at the bottom. I'm paying no attention. Um, I know this is horrible, but yeah. So right now I have my um, compression on because um, yeah, I had liposuction. Um, well, this is my second round of liposuction. I had a tummy tuck or actually skin removal. I'll do a video about that. Um, but yeah, so I'll show what I'm wearing a little bit later, like when we actually go out. This is just so I can run a couple of errands. Right now I have on my compression and I also have on my waist trainer. I'm seven or I'm seven weeks out, I think. Um, today is August 22nd and I got my surgery done on July 5th. Um, the skin removal, I got it done through Sonobello. So, um, you know, any ladies out there who's gotten a surgery, you know that you swell up. And I didn't want to be all swollen tonight when I put my dress on. And I'm not sure if I'm wearing compression with my dress or not later on. So, um, yeah, so I do have a waist trainer and my comp compression on just so that way I can be extra snatched. Okay, so let's, um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, yeah, so I'll probably, you know, like I said, I am new to this. So please bear with me um because my lighting may not be good sometimes i may not be looking in the right area you know i've done some sit down videos but i really haven't you know worked on you know vlog so <laughs> um i don't really have a thing to hold my phone i may look for one when i'm in ross i had one to so that way i can you know vlog in the car um i have one that you attach to the um the mirror but the rear view but it broke um i have one attached to the vent i don't know if that's gonna work if it works then y'all we'll, we'll do a you know um you can drive with me otherwise um i don't know if i'm gonna be able to really vlog in a car today so yeah okay so let's get started let's go okay so um I'm here at Burlington. I'm just gonna see if I'm looking for some um, headphones or ear, earbuds, whatever the fuck you call those things that go in your ear. Headphones, that sound hella 90s and, and stuff, but. Um, so I'm gonna go in here and see if they have some. Um, if not, then I'm gonna probably go to Ross. So yeah, um, I just wanted to, I, I'm just feeling so, good right now um i'm just feeling so high um well not because just because i i did have to hit some before i left but i just feel so high on life because i feel so blessed to to be able to find the love of my life and someone that treats me like a queen he just treats me just he treats me like his goddess and just I just love him so much. I mean, 
you know, he did get me this uh, chain because he know, he know his boo um, is a goddess. He know, he know. But anyway, I just, I'm just blessed that I have someone that not just loves me, but respects me. And that's the biggest thing because you can be in a relationship and it can be for money. It could be for convenience. And I don't judge that. That's you get married for whatever your reason for getting married or because you lonely, whatever the fuck your reason is. But at the core and at, um, at the core of it all, it's just important that the person respects you no matter how how your marriage situation is and why you marry but you just have to be sure that that person respects you <coughs> excuse me and you respect that person and that's just the biggest thing and i'm very very happy to have attracted someone like that but i did put it out there in the universe so i'm not shocked because you know i had a hand in co-creating that whole thing just watch my video how i manifested my husband okay um it's really good but um yes yeah, so i'm gonna go in here in burlington um i'm gonna see if they have a, a thing to hold my phone to i use that vent one but it, my phone was too big for it and it, this car wasn't trying to let me be great so i'm gonna go in here and see if they have um something for my phone so i can vlog in my vlog in my phone vlog in the car Okay. All right. Let's go. Don't hide away from me when I need you most. We got love guarantee and I have to know. Take that up for retail. So I said already that I'm a reseller, so I be picking stuff up from everywhere. Forever, yeah, yeah. You will me. 
Okay, so I'm done um, in Burlington. So I got what I came for, and I did ha did find a thing to hold my phone. So I'm gonna just have um I'm gonna have my boo hook that up for me later, so that way I can walk from the phone. I'm just gonna run to the Dollar Tree real quick. I'm probably not gonna pick y'all up in there because um I'm just really running in there real fast because yeah I still got stuff to do at home. I still gotta go home and, and wrap my husband's gift. And um, yeah, so I just gotta get a gift bag and um, a card and then I'm done. So yeah, I'll probably pick y'all up, I don't know, when I'm getting ready, when I'm doing my hair maybe, or I'm not sure yet. All right, and um, I seem like I was gonna say something else. Okay, all right, I'll call y'all back. Okay, so I'm not sure which dress I'm gonna wear. I don't know if I'm wearing this one. It has ruching all around it. Um, I got I got it from Amazon like a couple of years ago. I think they still have these dresses. I'll leave the links below um, if I find it on Amazon. I don't know if I'm wearing that or if I'm gonna wear like this blue skirt with a little split in the back or the red one and wear this black bodysuit. This is a um, Victoria's Secret bodysuit with, um, with a bra. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. <sighs> okay, so I'm back, so um, I gave my husband his anniversary gifts. Um, I can't remember if I said this earlier. He already gave me mine. Um, he bought me a computer for our anniversary, and I'm very happy about that. Oh, I'm probably not even looking what I'm supposed to. I'm very happy about that, so um, I needed one so bad. That's why I couldn't be consistent, because a sister couldn't. Man, I couldn't even, I, re, I was recording on my iPhone. Then you know, if you got an iPhone, you don't be having no room. And so it was just, every time I get a video done, it'd be taking me a week to get it up. It was just discouraging. So anyway, so here we are today, getting ready for our anniversary. So I already got most of my makeup on. Um, I'm just gonna freshen up um, some things and put on a little bit of shadow. And, um, so, like I said before, this is the first time I'm ever, you know, doing something like this. Um, so, yeah, I still got to curl my hair. I just cut some bangs into my, in my hair or whatever. So, yeah. So, I hope y'all been having a good day. I hope I'm talking loud enough. I do have a microphone. When I play this video back, if I see that I need a, a, um, to be louder, then I would add a microphone to the next video. So bear with me. So right now I'm just gonna um, put on some eyeshadow, not a lot. to toast um, so yeah we've been together for we've been together for five years exactly this month on the 31st I think was our first date um, yeah 31st of August 2017 Yep, slitting my um DMs <laughs> on plenty of fish. 
he was my last first date. He's an awesome man. I love him so much. But yeah, um, we both have kids. Um, he has two sons. Uh, 25 and 22. Um, my kids, they all have their own place. My kids, uh, my daughter, my daughter is 28. My son is 24. Um, all their birthdays is in, um, uh, April. My husband, my son and my daughter, they're all Taurus. And um, yeah, you see, you see that picture above the bed. Yeah, that's my hom, my homage. Is that how you say it? My homage to um, all, all these horses in my life. Yeah, you're a Taurus. Put that in the, in, in the comments that uh, you you're you're a Taurus. Okay, I'm a Gemini, so. I'm, I'm very happy to be a Gemini. I'm every every bit a Gemini too. We flighty, you know. But when when I when I say flighty, you know, because you know we air signs and everything. I'm dependable. So if I say I'm gonna be somewhere, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna do it. So, but I do. I am. I always have like a bunch of ideas. I'm always trying to start new businesses. I'm always doing something. I'm always chasing the bag. I'm always hustling always I am I do work for myself I do sell I'm a reseller and um, I resell on eBay Etsy um, I'm an affiliate marketer um, I have you know like I said I'm a hustler I do I, I have a, several streams of income so That's what I do. I haven't worked for, I have not been in corporate America since 2011. I used to be a bill collector. I was a bill collector for, for many, many years. And um, <laughs> uh, to me, I don't know. I don't know what it's like to be a bill collector now, especially with all the shit that's been going on and, and, and people, and things going on in the world. I couldn't imagine. I stopped working as a bill collector. I started skip tracing after that. Um, right when the um, housing market crashed, so right around 2008. Um, I worked for a couple of more years after that, but I did the skip tracing, which is like looking for people and stuff like that. And that's what I did um, because it's stressful doing collections. It's like, you know, but I was good at it. And I was never one of those mean people getting hung up on because I always had the upper hand. You know, I had a manager, she taught me like how to just get the money without having a customer fuck one of the customer fucker out hanging up on somebody. Only time I ever hung up on somebody is if somebody was just yelling at me over talking. But pretty much when I said the upper hand, I always worked where we can you're suing someone so they got assets so hey, you know, you can do all this yelling. I'm trying to put you on a payment arrangement, trying to help you with your credit because it does help your credit when you got stuff in collections. And I know what it's like to be, to have bad credit and be in collections and all that shit. After my last relationship, my credit was fucking shot. I had to restart my fucking shit all over again. That's another story. But yeah, so um, anyway, yeah. So today's our anniversary. I know I said that about 50, 50 11 times. Um, <laughs> tomorrow... Okay, so I know I said I wasn't sure if I'm going to do a vlog for, um, uh, you know, one day vlog or if I was going to do like a few days with me or what because this is so new to me. But tomorrow we are going to Cirque de Soleil. So I'm so excited about that. Um, I've been wanting to see one of those type of shows um, for years. I want to catch one in Vegas, but they're here in Sacramento and they've never been here. So this is a first. Oh, and cheers. Cheers, like I said, it's our anniversary. And if this anybody anniversary you happen to be watching this, drop that in the comments. Happy anniversary, sis. Okay, so um, anyway, so we're going to that tomorrow. So I do have some business to take care in the morning, take care of. I have a couple of packages I need to eBay sales that I had. 
I got a meal tomorrow, so I may take y'all with me. Um, I did get a thing to put the phone in, so I might I might be able to take y'all with me. I don't think there's really anything else I have to do tomorrow. I do gotta get some work done, and and I forgot what time the show is, so I still gotta figure out what I'm aware. So um, I hope I'm loud enough. And um, look at Boo. So <laughs> I hope that's okay, Boo. That's okay. Give me a minute. Um, I hope I'm loud enough. If not, I'll, I'll just have like a microphone and stuff. I guess I should have worn it. Anyway, so yeah, cheers. Okay, so my husband has to come in. Anyway, so I'm sorry. I, if I'm not looking at the, the camera, just give me one second. I'm just trying to put some um, gold eyeliner on just to make my eyes pop a little bit. Um, I'm not doing a whole lot with my makeup, so. But yeah, I can't remember what I was talking about. Oh. So yeah, we're empty nesters. Um, no. It's just me and my boo and our dog. Um, I had two dogs, but my dog after 14 years, she she um she passed. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna put some big curls on my hair. I'm just giving it a little texture. I'm not doing a whole lot because. Um, we're leaving in a half hour. <clears throat> we're leaving in a half hour, and I'll be ready, but I'm still not sure what I'm wearing. And we're going downtown or Old Sac. It's in Old Sacramento, so <clears throat> that's not that far from here. It's like basically downtown Sacramento, and um. I guess I could have had y'all like situated. I'm gonna get better at this. I, I am. I can't believe I'm even doing the vlog. Y'all, I'm so excited. Like once I got my computer and now I can, you know, um, do my videos and stuff. Y'all don't know, I'm just so excited. I feel so blessed. I'm at, right now, I'm at 432 subscribers, unless somebody unsubscribed to me tonight. <laughs> But, and look, I ain't for everybody and I'm okay with that. I'm gonna let y'all know, don't come for me in the comments if I talk a lot, I talk a lot, I am chatty, okay? I am chatty. I was chatty in school, I used to get in trouble for talking in school. Every time my mom had a parent-teacher conference, they'd be like, Leslie, um, she she talks a lot and my, my government name is Leslie, but I go by Lee, okay? Um, yeah, so whatever, I, I talk a lot, so whatever. If you, if you can't deal with that, I don't have to tell you. You can watch some other shit. I do curse. I smoke weed. I'm not religious. I don't know if I said that already. Um, I don't, I came from a very religious background. My mom was a Jehovah's Witness. I was brought up a Jehovah's Witness. So my mom still, when we don't talk, we ain't talk. I haven't talked to her and my brother um, since 2009. They don't talk to me. If anybody knows about that religion and about that cult, that's how it goes. Um, if y'all want me to do a video on that, and when I left that religion, so I'm not a religious person, but it has made me, now I'm 50 years old, so I'm a very open-minded person about, I'm so open-minded, I'm so free, my mind is so free, I don't have any religion tying me down, I don't have, and I'm not throwing shade on anyone who's religious, so I respect everyone's beliefs, religion, I respect all that, so... Um, everybody has different beliefs, political beliefs, whatever it is. I respect, I respect everyone. So, because I just want somebody to respect me. It's just the way how I was brought up is made me what I am. So I just love having a free mind and not thinking that because I make certain choices that I'm going to burn somewhere or I'm not going to go somewhere. It's just my belief. So, you know, don't come for me. It's, it's my belief. It's a belief, you know. No one belief is Google it. It's just it's a belief. You, something you tell yourself you think is true. It's a belief. So and that doesn't define me who I am as a person. So, but yeah. With that being said, um, yeah. 
there's so many things about me. I'm so excited. That's what I was saying before. I was so excited. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do the vlogs. I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be on the vlog tip now. And um, you know, and I know I'm older than a lot of YouTubers, but I know there's some sisters out there who around my age. You know, like I said, I'm 50. Um, damn. about being patient after having a liposuction and being patient is all about the end result it's all about the end result what i'm doing right now it ain't pretty it looks like a hot mess right now how my hair is looking it looks like i don't know what the fuck i'm doing the angles is all wrong y'all probably can't even hear me i'm looking in the wrong way saying um if y'all watch my video how I met my husband you know like I said I met me and my husband met online on plenty of fish and um you know I dated quite a bit when I, I dated quite a bit online I got a lot I got stories to tell y'all I've never been on a bad date I never manifest a bad date anytime I went out I always be sure I put in the universe that even if I never went out with a guy again that I had a good time and that I had a good date so and I obviously ain't got kidnapped I don't got no horror stories um but I took precautions you know like yeah He's the first person, my husband's the first person that been in my house and we've only been on like one day. Got, people don't be, I don't, I didn't let guys up in my house. At the time me and my children were together, even though they were adults. But I just didn't have guys up. I don't, you know, if I went out, they either, if I got a level of trust at some point, I would have them, they could meet me at my house. This is way after, after I got some trust, but they never came in my house. They still had to let me know they're on their way and I'll look out for them and I'll come outside. Um, others, when I'm just first dating that person, I may meet them at in a parking lot at the Dollar Tree or, or somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Whoops. And my kid, damn. And my kids knew where I was because we had an app. Um, if you watch my video, how to stay safe while dating online, um, I cover that in there. Oh, I gotta hook that lash up. And anyway, so yeah, I never had a bad date, but I had some experiences. And every date I went on, even if I, I never had a romantic feeling for any dates that I went on or anything, so I wasn't really dating with purpose. I was just dating because I'd never really dated before like that. You know, my last relationship before that was, I was with him for 11 years, so I was with him since I was 30. Before that, I was with my son's father. And then before that, I was with my daughter's father. And that goes all the way back to 93. Um, when I first had my first boyfriend. So, that's just how it went. I mean, I had guys I was talking to in between, but I'm talking about like relationships. So, when I was dating, I'm like, hmm, this is I'm single and shit, you know. I was dating everybody. When I say dating, I wasn't calling. I was just dating, going on dates. I was on the app. You know. Being grown. You know, I was in my 40s. And when I was dating on purpose, that's when I met my husband. But by then I knew I wanted to be in a relationship, like a committed one. So I knew what I wanted by that time. All right, I'm gonna finish up my hair. I'm gonna turn this off real quick so I can concentrate. And then, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna call y'all back. Okay, so I don't know if I wanna wear the red skirt, 
red is my husband's favorite color so or the blue skirt with the bodysuit so all right so i know i haven't done the liposuction video yet so you know i got i, I got a little say like say light back there okay but this is um how i'm looking it's been eight weeks seven weeks something like that so i'll give y'all a better video when i actually do um the video for my um liposuction with um sonabella so i'm gonna try this on and um see how this is looking and i'll probably come back when i have the whole outfit and uh yeah all right okay so this is how the um bodysuit is looking so this is how it looks uh without obviously <laughs> without the skirt so and it's backless not backless but you know a uh, halter so it's a halter style so yeah so it has just a little scar right there all right okay so this is what i'm aware okay so Yep. Yeah, this bodysuit is um is is a, a really good fit. I just have on a strapless bra. Um had to oil up these titties. And um yeah, and I just have this um what is this? I know I keep saying um a lot, sorry. Uh this necklace I thrifted this for five or ten dollars at one of my favorite uh little thrift stores where i get a lot of stuff that i resell actually but i kept this obviously for myself and i just have to um put some makeup on i said makeup i just have to put my shoes on and i'm done with my hair so i did put some little bangs in there i know you can't see it but i'll insert a picture of the whole look So yeah, all right, so I just got to straighten up, put my curling irons up and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, all right, all right. All right. I really love how this bodysuit is. I'm loving how this body is looking, sis. I mean, damn. Y'all don't know, I came a long way. I don't want to get too much into it because I'm going to do a separate video, but I came a long way. I do work out and stuff, but to be able to have the body that I actually really like at 50, I know, I, I'm like, damn. I could have been living like this way in before, but I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready for it. So, yeah, it's part of my level up journey and, um, yeah, it feels good. I'm very happy. My husband is very happy. He paid for it. And, um, all right. So, um, I'll pick y'all back up um, at some point. Maybe when we get in the car. All right.
talk like they know the real me. Let me clear the air. I've made my mistakes. I've learned how to behave. I know I'm a stranger, but I feel acquainted. Reading the signs, we've all got our damages. I don't wanna play it safely. With you, it's different. You're what I'm missing. Real talk, no fiction. I get lost in how. Like I said, the food is really good at the firehouse. Um, it's a nice place. They have like, it's a venue as well. So like you can, um, on the back, on their outside portion, you can actually, um, people have like their wedding and their um, receptionists up there. So we almost had our reception there in 2020, but we ended up going somewhere else. And um, I'm really, I really like where we went. So it's really good. So I'm about to go in here. Finish off the night. You need to go outside. Talk to my little, my little boo boo, my little doggy. You need to go outside. Oh, boo boo, come here. Ugh. Ugh. Mm, heavy. Come here, boo boo. Talk to my little boo boo. You see her? Look at her. Look at her. You being nosy looking at you. can Come here, boo. You see daddy? You being nosy. <laughs> she's like I'm getting I'm getting all up in the in the uh, vlogs and stuff on the YouTubes and stuff being cute you know right? <laughs> 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 oh, I'm gonna call y'all back I'm gonna call y'all back <laughs> my husband being nasty Thank you. 
such a play Or a change, yeah, yeah, yeah. My emotions are valid But the goal is not to be triggered Every time, never mind It's just life It's okay for my sanity To choose perfect peace And now forever I love plants. I just showed a clip of um, the plants. That was my office. I have a lot of plants in my office. Um, I spent a lot of time in there. I really don't even call it my office because sometimes me and my husband will lounge in there and watch, you know, TV or whatever. I mean, we can watch TV out here in the living room. Um, we have a family room. And then yesterday I opened up the vlog in the living room. Um, but we moved here a year ago and we didn't have furniture to fill two living rooms. So we're gonna get some furniture to fill that living room um, eventually. But the only thing that held that back is that, uh, <laughs> you know, Boo um, spent all this money on my liposuction and my, my tummy tuck. So that's where a lot of the money went, you know, that was quite a bit of money. 
So, um, yeah, that kind of push getting the, the whole living room. I already know what set I want. I already know the TV size and all that. So, um, hopefully here soon we'll be blessed with that. But um, in the meantime, um, yeah, that's just my little office or whatever. And so, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. So I'm about to make my coffee and get my morning started. Um, I'm sorry, I was looking outside. We have, I'm gonna show y'all my little setup. So I don't know if you can see like the window right there. Um, it kind of like looks down on our kitchen. So like sometimes I be trying to come out here naked and shit and I'm like, damn, the windows closed right now they're doing um they're moving i think they're selling the house well not think the house is they're selling the house so they're moving um but yeah that's the only thing about living here it's like everywhere you look there's or every room you're in it's like almost a neighbor could look in if they were you know perverts but yeah i've been here naked and shit and i'm like damn the whole reason i couldn't wait to to not live with my kids because I'm like, oh, I could be naked all the time. You know what I'm saying? Because I prefer to not have no clothes on. And damn, when I'm over there, I'm like, fuck. They probably could see down. Some days I'd be like, oh, well, they need to close their fucking um, blinds or whatever. So anyway, there's a couple of, um, I don't know why there's place in here. Well, you know we went out last night, so. Um, or went to dinner yesterday. I'll talk about that later in, um, when I really get the vlog started. But I'm just gonna wash up these um, couple of dishes right here. My drying mat is in the washing machine. So I'm going to wash these dishes. Um, damn, I think my dog got gas. Girl, you got gas? You have been hurting all night. Anyway, I need to get a new sponge, a clean sponge, so let me get a clean sponge. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk to you guys while I'm making my coffee. Why we be shedding? So anyway, <laughs> so today we're going to um, Surf Day Soleil. And I don't know if you guys really, it's like, um, it's a, uh, you, you'll see it like in Vegas. Um, I, I wanted to see it. Well, we went to Vegas during COVID. So it was like in 2020 for our honeymoon we got married august 2020 but um you know with COVID and everything it's just really hard to or get away it's the end of the weekend so but i still wanna turn we up went, we did, yeah um, we i still wanna turn, turn up all, all i want is to go bellagio? yeah the bellagio and that's where the Cirque de soleil usually um performs so anyway, um, I think I mentioned this before previously that um, he's also always wanted to go. I've always, I've been wanting to go for years. I've always wanted to catch a show. So we're gonna be going to that. That's really a continuous of our anniversary. So um, that's what we're gonna do. I think he said the show is at 7.30. And so we're probably um, gonna get some, um, I'm thinking, I didn't wanna do a full on dinner before. 
because I don't want to be all full and shit. So I'm thinking we're just probably going to do like some drinks, some appetizers um, before we go. We still need to find a place for that. Damn, my sister is almost fucking out of iced coffee and I really didn't want to make no hot coffee. Come on, let me add that to the list while I'm... I got a list on the refrigerator and um... Yeah, and, oh, let me turn this, this. I want to get copyrighted for having my uh, jazz music on. Yeah, I want to get copyrighted because I always turn on. We have Xfinity. Um, what, whatever uh, cable you have, you know how sometimes you can stream. Um, I'm not stream, but you know, just like play music or whatever. And I always have it on the jazz channel. So let me write this on here that I need some iced coffee. So anyway, in key ways, um, so we're gonna do that or whatever. And I still gotta find something to wear. Obviously I need to do my hair. I'm gonna flat iron my hair today. So girl, my hair is looking, why did I put that much in there? My hair is looking, I'm not gonna lie. My hair is looking a straight mess, but damn, I wish I had more coffee. Okay. All right. Um, I gotta take some medication. So let me let me. I gotta take lactose. I'm assuming I'm lactose intolerant because I'll drink. I don't know. Something triggers me, and I've been trying to pinpoint what's trigger what's triggering me that after I have certain foods, my stomach will hurt. I'll feel like really weird. So. I know some of it has to do with probably, um, you know, dairy. So I take these little generic lactose pills. And then I take some other pills I got prescribed from my doctor. Um, I need to take those. But yeah, this coffee is not hitting today. Because I like a lot of coffee more than cream. So anyway, that's what we're going to do today. Right now, I'm going to just, oh, what time is it? It's 11.45. I didn't roll out the bed till, oh, fucking no. It was like 10 something. I'm surprised my dog even let me sleep that long. long. She usually be like eight o'clock, like, bitch, I'm ready to go out. So, um, <laughs> she looking at me because I know she's ready for her little morning snack. So she has, she's so smart. She just, she be knowing. Girl, she know when it's her snack time. So I got her little snacks up there on the refrigerator. I'm gonna give her that. And then, um, I like to ease into my morning. I don't like to just start working because I do have some work to do. Um, I had a couple of sales, uh, one on Etsy, one a couple on eBay. So I need to, um, I mean, I have a couple of days to, to, I don't know if anybody's familiar with selling on, on any of those marketplaces, but you usually have, um, I have my set to, I take three business days um, to process orders. Sometimes I send it out right away. Sometimes um, it's in two business days. Sometimes it's in three. Sometimes it's in one business day. It just depends on how my day go. But I like to ship things off immediately. So I had a sale, I guess 3 a.m. So I'm gonna mail that off. Um, that's going um, international through the global shipping program and that's through eBay. Um, I'm not gonna really ha uh, show you guys me packaging up the stuff because it's a whole lot. Um, that process sometimes be stressing me out because I be having to find the right box and all that shit. But, um, and I do have some work to do. So right now I'm just gonna ease into my morning. Like I said, magic, here baby. I get her these little snacks from, um, sometimes I order her cookies off of, off of Amazon. I'm sorry, I keep looking at the fucking thing. Um, off of Amazon. Um, but I get these, um, from the Dollar Tree. They're just like different types of little snacks that I get her. Um, just her little pleasure. And then we buy her, um, these big bones, these bones that you can give to your dog, whatever. And we cut off just the ends because she, the long part of the bone, now they made for dogs, but you still gotta be careful of choking. The, one of the, it, it was like a long shim part of the bone got stuck in her, in her upper roof. 
And um, oh my God, I was so scared. My husband had the prior mouth open. I had to like take my nail and take it out or whatever. And it just really scared me. So now we don't give her the whole bone like that. Um, like I said, it's made for dogs. But we just, um, he cuts off the ends and she just eats like, we call them the knuckle part, but it's, you know, the end part of the bone. They're really big. She's really little. Huh? Come here, boo -boo. Come here, say hi. Say, say hi. Can you see? You see my boo-boos? She's like, give me this. She said, I want the snack, bitch. You want your snacks, huh? You want your snacks. So I get her these, um, these little snacks. Look at her. She can't wait to get it. <laughs> Put her down. So I buy those at the Dollar Tree. I just fill up, I got this from the Dollar Tree too. I just fill up her little thing or whatever with all her little treats and stuff. So, you know, she likes that. Um, I give her two treats in the morning when my husband is, oh, and then if she doesn't like, we give her these little cookies. And sometimes she buries these, just like my other dog used to do. She'll bury these. Girl be in a couch. Yesterday I was cleaning my office up and this was, this was supposed to be buried, but this is over here by the, um, by my trash can, and I guess that's where she she buried it over here. She's so crazy. Anyway, um, I usually give her two snacks in the morning because she is such a perfect dog. She is so good. So I'll let her have two snacks. Here's a little. All right, Magic, Miss Magic. Her name is Magic. M A G I C K. Okay. So we're about to walk back here. And um, like I said, you know, I like to ease into my morning. Honey, easing into the martins. And um, yeah, I don't like to do, I don't like to do a whole lot before I have my coffee. So, damn, I don't know. I don't know what the hell she ate. She, oh my. She got gas, like, oh my God. I didn't know if it was her or my husband all night. <laughs> that. I was like, damn. Was that the steak we ate yesterday? <laughs> but my dog has straight up gas. I'm like, oh my God. Anyway, she's about to probably smoke me a, a bowl or um, this little joint and then get my mind right. And like I said, don't be coming for me. Yes, I do smoke. You know, um, it's legal. And even if it wasn't, I, I can definitely get a prescription for it because I need one. Um, yeah, so, and I'm 50, I'm, I'm, I'm grown as fuck. So, um, let me just fix this here. So I'm just, like I said, I'm gonna text my husband back because he texts me and mm, I'm burn some incense because baby girl just have it up in here just lit. I can't even smell my candles. Damn. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> anyway, so I'm about to drink my coffee, smoke, and then I'll get my day started. So um, I, I don't know when I'm going to come back on here. I don't even know. I don't know when I'm going to pick y'all back up. I don't know when I'm going to call y'all back. But when I call back, you better answer. Okay? You better answer. All right. Okay, so right now, um, I'm just in my um, eBay room, and um, I'm just gonna package up those few things that I have um, to mail out, and I might take y'all with me um, in the car, or when I get in the car, just to drop off these couple of packages. I was gonna flat iron my hair before going, but I, I need to hurry up and package up these items and then I'm just gonna go ahead and um, flat iron my hair for tonight. When I get back, I'm, I'm already done with my makeup, so at least that's done. So yeah, um, I'll, oh fuck. All right, I'll come back on here. I'll come back on here. I'll call y'all back. Okay, so I'm about to run to the post office and um, I had, two other packages to, to mail with this, but um, I'm not gonna have time. It, it's, it takes me a while to um, package heavy items because I have to find the right box. I have to be sure I'm putting it in something that, um, you know, so it won't break. And one of the items, I, it's plastic, 
but I didn't, I don't, obviously I don't want it to break and I don't even have a box to fit it. I reuse a lot of my Amazon boxes, um, but lately I have not been ordering a lot of stuff off of Amazon. Oh, I see a box over there. Um, lately I have not been ordering hella Amazon stuff, so I'm starting to run out of boxes, but I just reuse everything. I reuse all the boxes, packaging, all that shit. Plus I use USPS, um, you know, one rate, um, what you call it, so packaging. So I'm gonna just run to the post office here. And then when I get back, um, if I have time, damn, I forgot my wedding ring. If I have time, I wanted to do an unboxing with you guys. I actually ordered something. Um, or I had my husband order something off of Amazon um, that I really needed to go with my computer. Um, so I'll show you guys that unboxing as well. So. Okay, so <clears throat> um, I, I hope during this video my um, phone holder don't break because I did something just now and that shit starting to already break. That's what happens when you get cheap ass shit. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get another one. I'll probably go look for one tomorrow, a better one. So hopefully this doesn't fall while I'm um, driving. And I don't like this one because I can't show like the road while I'm driving and shit. So anyway, um, I was going to talk about yesterday, um, how fun it was. Um, I already inserted the clips and stuff to um, the place that we ate at. Um, it was called the Firehouse. And what it is, it, it's in Old Sacramento, which I don't know what city or where you guys are located. I know y'all all over. Um, I know a lot of towns have like the old part of the town where you know because we live in sacramento county or sacramento basically but you know it's like western so a lot of the places were you know when you look at cowboy movies those are real like old sacramento was where old like the old west really was so that used to be a firehouse. Um, I don't know if it was the turn of uh, the 20th century or how long ago, you know, it was, but it used to be a firehouse. They turned into a restaurant. It's really nice. And the food was really good. I would say that the sides wasn't all that um, because it came with, bitch, you really had to fly out there. Um, I would say that the, um, so it, it was, it was, um, center cut it was an aged center cut um ribeye and i love steak and i got mine rare um i like my steak either medium rare or rare just like when i eat hamburgers out i usually get a medium rare or rare that's just how i like my um that's just how i like my food my meat um i don't like it well done once it gets too done you know i like it pink in the middle i like pink and um, sometimes I get it rare because some restaurants you order it medium red and it's damn near done by the time you get it because of the carryover heat from cooking. So a lot of times I order rare and also too when I have leftovers, I know that when I heat it up, I'm not going to cook it all the way, you know, so it can still have some pink in the middle. I still got some leftovers. It came with fingerling potatoes and um, green beans. The fingerling potatoes, um, I wish it was mashed potatoes. They were dry. The um, the green beans was was too crispy. I like them sauteed a little bit more down because you damn near should just give me raw green beans. Um, but it was it was good. The um, steak was really good. It was very flavorful. Mm -hmm. It was very flavorful. Oh, I just love as soon as I've been into it. And they put some type of truffle butter or some something on top of it. It was really, really good. So, um, yeah, we had that. And of course, you saw my drink. That was a um, what's called a berry berry something. Um, it had like um, that blackberry and blackberry liqueur. It had Tito's vodka. It had a couple other things in it. It was really good. Oh, and brute champagne. The only thing I didn't like, and I don't know why my ass did this, is that I ate the um, blackberry, and I already know raspberries and blackberries, you know they got them little seeds up in it, and oh my God, 
I think one of them seeds is still in my bag too. I use my my oral uh, water pick. I mean my oral the water pick. I used a regular I think I'm like oh my god I think I could feel it in there Jesus I don't know I shouldn't have ate it I don't know what I was thinking I kind of was sucking on it it was so good I kind of was suck on it then I start chewing it I don't know why I did that that's my damn fault um and of course boo had his beer um and oh and then I had a glass of um whipped dinner I actually had a glass of um red or I had a glass of cab Normally we get appetizers, but they didn't really have anything on the appetizer menu that I like. Um, they have some oysters, but I like to share an appetizer with my husband and he doesn't really care for raw oysters. Um, I could have still got it if I wanted, wanted to, but I really wasn't feeling that. And um, what else was there? Oh, and then I ordered, um, he ordered a salad, uh, a classic Caesar salad and I had um some type of salad that had um pancetta and uh goat cheese um it, it was supposed to come with blueberries but i told him i didn't want any blueberries because i don't really like sweet stuff in my salad um it was really good it was it was so good it had like a roasted garlic vinaigrette on there and then i just had a side of caesar dressing because i love caesar dressing um i'm not a big ranch person but i do like caesar dressing and so that was really good um yeah i would definitely go back to eat there again we were thinking about root chris but i don't know i hear mixed reviews about it for the price that you paying at it my food my food better fucking be bomb you know what i'm saying for the price that that you know when we go out or whatever but um it was a really nice experience today we're just gonna go get some appetizers nothing fancy i think we're just gonna go to um so we gotta go to way to West Sacramento to, to go to this uh, Cirque de Soleil. So I'm thinking um, we're probably just gonna go maybe to Chevy's on a river. Um, Y'all probably heard of Chevy's. If not, it's like Chili's and Applebee's, you know, just like some basic ass stuff, nothing nothing major. Have some appetizers um, and a couple of drinks or whatever. So when I get home, um, I, I was supposed to, I already said this already. So when I get home, I'm gonna flat iron my hair. I might do the unboxing and I'm sorry if this is shaking because this thing is barely holding on. So I'm so sorry if it, I'm sorry sis, if this is shaking. Um, like I said, this is my first vlog and you know, sometimes shit just, Oh Lord, this shit, Ooh, Lord. And I'm sorry, y'all is, damn, it's really shaking. I hope this ain't annoying to y'all. Um, also too, I'm sorry, my titties just all out. I got this waist trainer on, so it's making my titties look just extra, you know what I mean? Extra. Anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm, if I have time, I might do the unboxing because I think we're trying to leave at five. I'm kind of wanting to leave a little bit before five, so I might not actually have time for the unboxing today. I'm already gonna call it. I'm not gonna have time. I'm gonna go home and flat iron my hair, and I think I know what I'm wearing. Um, probably just like a just a dress, like a bodycon type of tank dress. Um, it's bright, like a, it's like a neon green, greenish, yellowish color. And um, I never wore it. I got it off of Amazon. So if I remember, I'll put it in the link. If I wear it, I'll put the link in the description. I said put it in the link, put a link in the description. And they, they always have these dresses. They come in all different colors. Half y'all probably, most of y'all probably already got these dresses. Um, but they look really cute. Um, I'm probably gonna have to wear my compression under it you know so all my cellulite um ain't popping in the back um but yeah so what's going on i'm almost here at the post office what the fuck is it? i don't know what this lady up here is doing When I go in this post office, I'm just gonna go to the little kiosk. Um, I'm probably not even gonna bring y'all in there with me. Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna run in. Only got just a couple of packages, so I'm just gonna run in. And like I said, I, I hope this isn't shaking. I hope this wasn't shaking too much. And if it was, I apologize. Um, Okay. 
I look really fat from this angle. All right, um, so I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, um, so I'm done with, I'm done with that. And um, yeah, so I'm about to go back home and flat iron my hair. I, I'm not gonna record that because that, that it was it was too difficult. Plus, I, my camera angle wasn't right, so um, I'm just I'm not gonna even record that. So um, okay, so I guess I'm done right now because I will be talking, and I gotta go take these Invisaligns off because my mouth is sore right now, and. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna say that by my Invisalign. I, you know, I, like I said, I'm always trying to level up my mind, my body. You know, like I already told y'all, you know, I had, um, you know, plastic surgery. Um, I'll say cosmetic surgery, whatever you wanna call it. And I also do work out. So I've been working out way before I got surgery. Um, so, cause it's really important that you, I think it's important to work out, not just for your body, but for your mind as well. Because like there's days where I'm so busy and I'm like, oh my God, I got so much to do. I got to do all these postings on eBay right now. I need to do this, I need to do that. And um, I'm like, I don't have time to go to the gym. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just get my ass in the gym because I feel so much better after I work out. It's like good for your mind. I work. I feel so much better. Like, oh my god, I feel so much better. So, um, I'm sorry. I was just trying to. They're they're doing work, road work up here, so I was just trying to be careful. You know you gotta go extra slow. Supposed to go slow in the cone zone. Okay. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. So about my teeth, that's what I was gonna talk about. So that's a journey that in itself because I don't want to have. I've always been, you know, well, I've been more self-conscious about the bottom of my teeth since I started doing videos because when I was playing it back, I'm like, God damn, I, I knew my bottom teeth was crooked, but I was like, they looking like picket fences and stuff, like uneven picket fences. And I'm like, I can't be leveling up my body and, and my skin and everything else. And my, my fucking grill is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Because people, if I'm looking at it, maybe other people ain't noticing it, but if I notice it, because I know I look at other people's mouth when they talk. When I'm looking at videos, I do look at people's mouth. Um, that's just what I do. It's not like I'm judging nobody. It's just that I look at people's mouth. You know what I mean? So I know if I do it, um, then I know other people probably do it too. But either way, I did, I'm doing this for myself. Everything I did do with my body is for myself. My husband... It, he's not the reason why I got my uh, surgery done. I have wanted to get Sonobello done. It was on my fucking vision board. And I'll do a video about, if y'all wanna see a video, just co uh, comment, that, comment that below. If y'all wanna see a video about how I manifested my um, my surgery with Sonobello. I had that shit on my vision board like 10 years ago. Um, so yeah. That's something that I've been, because I've always been self-conscious about my fupa. You know, I've always struggled with my weight. I struggle with my weight. Um, I'm sorry, I was reading a notification on my phone. Uh, I struggle with my weight all my life. Like, shit, since I was a kid, I always had, you know, always, always struggle with my weight. And, you know, my mom did too. I seen her. I was brought, damn, it's hella bumpy over here. I'm sorry, I'm going to hold y'all real quick like this. Let's go over here. Um... I struggled with my weight for a long time. I've, I've, I've done it all. And I'll touch on that another time. You know, I, I grew up, my mom always on diets. She struggled with her fucking weight. I've always struggled with my weight. And that's just how, that's just how it is. And so, even though, you know, some people are like, oh, this workout and, and exercise and, and, you know, and diet properly and then you can lose. You cannot, I don't care what nobody tells you. You cannot fucking lose a fupa. 
I don't care how much you buying that shit up, how, what you do, you cannot fucking lose no FUPA. You can put waist trainers on. That's subcutaneous fat. And you can Google that. When you got fat that's a, a, um, you know, over your muscle or whatever, you can't fucking burn that shit off. You know, so I mean, unless you starve yourself, I was at my skinniest at 125 and I still had a, 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 a pooch. You know what I mean? So everybody's body is different, but some people, I guess, you know, they can get a flat stomach just doing sit ups. My ass couldn't. I, I had to do shit. No, I had to get work done. Now my waist trainer's working. Is my waist training? My waist trainer is training <laughs> because I, I had to get work done. You know, that's just how it is. So, you know, diet and exercise don't work for everybody. And I only eat once a day. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I eat I eat breakfast like on the days that my husband's home from work so I can cook him, you know, breakfast because that's what I like to do. Not that he requires it. He can care less. I mean, not that he can care less, but he, you know, I just love to take care of my husband. And um, also too, uh, yeah, I just, now, once in a while, you may see me, if, you know, like very occasionally, I'm like, oh, I can go for some eggs right now. You know, um, like last week, I made myself a whole waffle. <laughs> so that's the first time I made waffles in like 15, 16, probably longer than that, years, you know. So, um, yeah, so I made a waffle. So um, I'll probably make waffles maybe tomorrow for breakfast. But I'm not, I don't think I'm vlogging this tomorrow. I'm probably going to end the vlog um, tonight with the Cirque de Soleil and I may actually end the vlog tomorrow actually because I want to do the unboxing with you guys because I've never done an unboxing so I'm kind of excited about that so yeah I may vlog again um, later on this week um, because we are going to the lake on Sunday uh, for family day we try to do that every year with the kids my, with our grown ass kids you know try to get the fam together my my two kids is two kids we just try to do you know family things together go to the lake barbecue um kick it listen to music get on on the, on the water i'm looking forward to that and especially since i got my um okay from my doctor that i can get in you know the water and stuff so yeah and i don't know if i'm working out tomorrow i wanted to work out but my husband just told me he's going to be working some overtime so um oh i might i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna work out or not I can go to, to the gym without him, of course, because um, I kind of want to. We go to 24 hour fitness and we have one by our house, but it's not the big one. Um, we started, we make a long story short, we, we live a little bit further from the other one that's the big one that has like the basketball court. I don't know if y'all familiar with 24 hour fitness, has a basketball court and um, all that shit. Um, it has a pool, it has um, a jacuzzi. So I'm like, oh, a jacuzzi. So I'm kind of dying to get up in that jacuzzi. So I might go um, tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um, I do have a ton of work to do. I'm so behind in my postings for eBay and Etsy and stuff. And, you know, that's my main work, my main uh, business. And then I have my other affiliate marketing businesses. I'm trying to build sales funnels for those also. So that takes work. Um, and I'm adding another stream of income to my stream of incomes um yeah so and also too by the time i put this video up it'll probably be a couple of days because i have to figure out what software i want to use to edit my videos now that i have a new computer and i got there's going to be a learning curve for for shit so yeah so um i'm almost home i'm gonna go ahead and and um pick y'all back up probably after i do my hair and just show you guys what i'm wearing i will do some more filming later and i'll turn this off because y'all probably annoyed if this thing is shaking i'm so so sorry i hope to get another um phone holder holder um for the car hopefully this week so yeah i'll pick y'all back up i'll call y'all back y'all better answer the phone when i call back
Okay, so we just came from inside the Cirque du Soleil. You can, if you can see that, walking back to the car. That show was <laughs> amazing. Like, it was truly magical. Oh my God. I've never seen anything like it. It was, what do you think, boo? Oh, it was incredible. It was, yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. Like, a few times I just wanted to just bring tears to my eyes. I'm so happy I was able to go. Thank you, boo. <laughs> happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> the best looking woman in the show. Oh, <laughs> thank you, boo. <laughs> All right, so um, we're about to head home. I'll pick y'all up when I get home. Okay, so this is going to be the end of the vlog, and we just got back from um, the Cirque de Soleil. I kept saying Cirque de Soleil, Cirque du Soleil. Um, it was. It was, it was true. Like I said in the last clip, it was truly magical. Um, we had so much fun. Oh, we had so much fun. I hope to see like one of those shows again. Um, I got this shirt right here. Um, of course, I'm a dual DIY because I'm not really like, I don't wear t-shirts like normal like this. I usually cut them up and do something. But this is the one I got black and white I love it and so I'm just gonna end this with doing an unboxing I got an ease in the end I'm a fly pressure and a feel time man 100,000 back to see a look on the stack but that's another sport caught me a yellow one okay so I got it working um so yeah so this is this is how it's looking All right, so it's working. I didn't want to have it go too long because I don't want to get copyright or whatever. But yeah, so it's working. I figured it out. It's real simple. So it's just Bluetooth. Um, yes, I'm so happy. So now I can um, actually um, edit my YouTube videos. So anyway, with that being said, thank you, ladies. Thank you, goddesses. Thank you, lovelies for um, sticking with me through this vlog. I don't know how long it's gonna be. It's just a couple of days, but it's probably a long vlog. Thank you so much for your support. I hope y'all ladies have a good day. Um, leave leave um, anything in the comments that you like to leave and y'all have a good day. I hope to see you soon. Take it easy. Fool me once, fool me twice. Shame. When you're hiding things, might as well be lies Can you